Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to create a 2D moving platform that you'll be able to choose the direction it's going to move. But before we start, if you're enjoying these tutorials, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. That helps me a lot to bring more videos like these. So let's begin. First, I'm going to create a new game object and rename it to platform. Now we add the sprites we need to create the platform inside the game object we just created. Like that. In this case, I'll need those three. I'll make sure first I reset the position of all of them. I will position them one beside each other to move the platform. In this case, I need minus one and the other one value, it's going to be one on X axis. So now I have my platform here and for our player be able to stand on top, I will add a box collider to the, but I will add that on the platform game object and not on the child. Now I will click here and resize it the way I think it's gonna be okay. So guys, you can resize the way you want. I will leave like that, looks good for me. Now we need to create a tag. I come here on top, add tag, the plus icon, I'll call it platform, and don't forget to add the tag to the game object after. Great, we have our platform created, but it's not moving yet. So for that, create a new game object, I'll call it moving platform, then add our first platform inside it. And now we need to create two more game objects, those ones I will call position one and position two. It's gonna mark where our platform is going to move between those two points. But if you see, it's kind of hard to visualize the positions. Select both, just click here and let's give it a color for these game objects. I'll select this yellow one here and then I'll position one on one side and the position two on the other side. So now we'll be able to see two positions and, and decide where we want our platform to move between those. Okay, so now I'll create a script to make our platform move. I'll call it just platform and add to the platform that has the box collider component. So here inside our script, first we need public Transform, I will call post 1 and post 2. Those are going to be the positions of the game objects we created. We need to get those positions and now public float speed. So it's going to be the speed of the platform. Public transform star pause. And also vector tree, that's going to be a private neck position. So identify which position is going to be the next one and the start method next position equals start position dot position <laughs> that's kind of funny but yeah that's how it is and in here inside our update method if transform dot position equals pause one dot position what we're gonna do next position equals position two dot position Next, if transform dot position equals position two dot position, it's a lot of position. Next, pause equals pause one dot position. Great. And down here, transform dot position equals vector three dot move towards. And the values we're going to do is transform the position next pause and the velocity is going to be speed times time dot delta time okay one more thing down here let's create void on draw gizmos because we want to see the line between the positions that the platform is going to move so gizmos dot draw line and here pause one dot position and pause two Dot position. Awesome. Save the script and let's go back to Unity now. Here back to Unity. Let's first assign the values to the variable we just created. So position one, we drag the position one, position two, position two. The speed I want around two. And the start position, let's assign the position one. Now open the script that makes the player jump. In my case, it's the player feet. So let's open it. In our script here, first we need the public game object. I'll call it player. And in here, inside our on trigger enter 3D method, what we need if order dot game object dot compare tag, which tag platform, and player controller dot is jumping. It's true. So player controller dot is jumping equals false. 
So it's the same thing as making the player jump, but in this case, instead of he's touching the ground, he's touching the platform. And also we need player dot transform dot parent equals other dot game object dot transform. We need this because otherwise our player won't be able to stand on top of the platform. And down here we need void on trigger exit 2D. I'll change here to other. And in here if other dot game object dot compare tag, which tag the platform again. So in here player dot transform dot parent equals no. So this it's called when we leave the platform. Save the script and let's go back to Unity. In here, let's assign our player to the variable we just created, the player, and time to test now. As you can see, the platform moves just the way we want between the two positions. And if our player jumps on top, it works. So now you know how to create a moving platform for your 2D game. But before I end up this video, I just want to recommend a course to you guys that are learning 2D game development. The course is that one you can see on the screen and teaches how to create a 2D platform game for mobile. I'm also there answering questions on the Q&A, so it's another way for you guys to reach me. I'll leave the link in the description below and if you have any question, just ask me in the comments. Alright, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. And if you have any questions, suggestions, let me know in the comments below. So stay awesome and see you on the next one.